Are you ready to uncover the surprising truth about your digestive health? Today, we're diving deep into the world of nutrition to explore how certain foods can wreak havoc on not just one, but to vital organs, your colon, and your gallbladder. From the silent culprits lurking in your favorite meals to the unexpected consequences they bring, we're here to shed light on the connections between diet and digestive health. So grab a seat, buckle up, and get ready to discover the foods you never knew could be harming your colon and gallbladder. Stick around to the end for expert insights, actionable tips, and a game plan for transforming your eating habits to support optimal digestive wellness. Don't miss out, let's get started. 1. Processed meats can have negative effects on both the colon and the gallbladder due to several factors. Gallbladder issues, processed meats often contain high levels of saturated fats and cholesterol which can contribute to the formation of gallstones. The consumption of processed meats can lead to increased cholesterol levels in the bile, promoting the formation of gallstones over time. Additionally, processed meats may contain additives and preservatives that can irritate the gallbladder and increase the risk of gallbladder inflammation cholecystitis. Colon health processed meats have been classified as group 1 carcinogens by the world. Health Organization WHO, meaning they are known to cause colorectal cancer. The high levels of salt, nitrates, and other additives found in processed meats can damage the lining of the colon and increase the risk of developing colorectal polyps and cancerous tumors. Additionally, the cooking process used to prepare processed meats such as grilling or smoking can produce carcinogenic compounds that further increase cancer risk. Increased risk of obesity, processed meats are often high in calories, saturated fats, and sodium, all of which can contribute to weight gain and obesity when consumed in excess. Obesity is a risk factor for both gallbladder disease and colorectal cancer, as it can lead to inflammation, insulin resistance, and changes in hormone levels that promote tumor growth. Disruption of gut microbiota Processed meats can disrupt the balance of gut microbiota, leading to dysbiosis. Dysbiosis, or an imbalance in gut bacteria, has been linked to various gastrointestinal issues, including inflammatory bowel diseases, IBD like Crohn's disease, and ulcerative colitis. Dysbiosis may also impair bile acid metabolism, affecting gallbladder function. Increased inflammation processed meats contain high levels of inflammatory compounds such as advanced glycation and products ages and heterocystic amines HCAS which can promote inflammation throughout the body, including in the colon and gallbladder. Overall, limiting the consumption of processed meats and opting for healthier protein sources such as lean meats, poultry, fish, legumes, and plant-based alternatives can help support both colon and gallbladder health. Choosing a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and fiber can also help reduce the risk of digestive problems and diseases associated with processed meat consumption. 2. High-fat dairy products can negatively impact both the colon and the gallbladder due to several factors, gallbladder issues, high-fat dairy products, such as whole milk, cheese, and butter, are rich in saturated fats. Consumption of these fats can lead to an increase in cholesterol levels in the bile, potentially promoting the formation of gallstones. Additionally, high-fat meals can stimulate the gallbladder to contract, which may exacerbate symptoms in individuals with existing gallbladder issues or increase the risk of gallbladder inflammation cholecystitis. Colon health diets high in saturated fats, including those found in high-fat dairy, Products have been associated with an increased risk of colorectal cancer and other colon-related issues. Saturated fats can promote inflammation in the colon and contribute to the development of colorectal polyps and cancerous tumors. Additionally, high-fat diets are often low in fiber, which is essential for maintaining colon health and promoting regular bowel movements. A lack of fiber can increase the risk of constipation and other digestive issues. Obesity, high-fat dairy products are calorie-dense and can contribute to weight gain and obesity when consumed in excess. Obesity is a risk factor for both gallbladder disease and colorectal cancer, as it can lead to inflammation, insulin resistance, and changes in hormone levels that promote tumor growth. Disruption of gut microbiota High-fat diets, including those rich in high-fat dairy products, can disrupt the balance of gut microbiota, leading to dysbiosis. Dysbiosis, or an imbalance in gut bacteria, has been linked to various gastrointestinal issues, including inflammatory bowel diseases, IBD like Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Dysbiosis may also impair bile acid metabolism, affecting gallbladder function. 
Systemic inflammation, high fat diets can contribute to systemic inflammation throughout the body, including in the colon. Chronic inflammation in the colon has been associated with an increased risk of colorectal cancer and other colon related issues. Additionally, inflammation in the gallbladder may lead to gallbladder dysfunction and increase the risk of gallbladder disease. Overall, reducing the consumption of high-fat dairy products and opting for low-fat or non-fat alternatives can help support both colon and gallbladder health. Choosing a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean protein sources can also help reduce the risk of digestive problems and diseases associated with high-fat diets. 3. Refined sugars and sweets can have adverse effects on both the colon and the gallbladder for several reasons. Gallbladder issues consuming foods high in refined sugars can lead to weight gain and obesity, which are risk factors for gallstone formation and gallbladder disease. Excess body weight can lead to increased cholesterol levels in the bile, promoting the formation of gallstones. Additionally, high sugar diets may contribute to insulin resistance, which can impair the function of the gallbladder and increase the risk of gallbladder inflammation cholecystitis. Colon health diets high in refined sugars and sweets are often low in fiber and essential nutrients, which are important for maintaining colon health. A lack of fiber can lead to constipation and slow transit time in the colon, increasing the risk of colorectal issues such as hemorrhoids, diverticulosis, and colorectal cancer. Additionally, excessive consumption of refined sugars may contribute to dysbiosis, an imbalance in gut microbiota that has been linked to inflammatory bowel diseases, IBD like Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Inflammation Refined sugars and sweets can contribute to systemic inflammation throughout the body, including in the colon. Chronic inflammation in the colon has been associated with an increased risk of colorectal cancer and other colon-related issues. Additionally, high sugar diets may exacerbate inflammation in the gallbladder, leading to gallbladder dysfunction and increasing the risk of gallbladder disease. Increased risk of obesity. Diets high in refined sugars and sweets are calorie dense and can contribute to weight gain and obesity when consumed in excess. Obesity is a risk factor for both gallbladder disease and colorectal cancer, as it can lead to inflammation insulin resistance, and changes in hormone levels that promote tumor growth. Disruption of gut microbiota, refined sugars and sweets can disrupt the balance of gut microbiota, leading to dysbiosis. Dysbiosis can impair digestion and nutrient absorption in the colon and increase the risk of gastrointestinal issues such as bloating, gas, and diarrhea. Overall, reducing the consumption of refined sugars and sweets and opting for a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean protein sources can help support both colon and gallbladder health. Limiting the intake of sugary foods and beverages can also help reduce the risk of digestive problems and diseases associated with high sugar diets. 4. Spicy foods can affect both the colon and the gallbladder in several ways. Gallbladder issues spicy foods, particularly those containing chili peppers or hot spices, can stimulate the production of bile in the gallbladder. While this may aid digestion in some individuals, it can also exacerbate symptoms in those with gallbladder issues. Excessive bile production can lead to increased pressure in the gallbladder, potentially triggering gallbladder attacks or exacerbating existing gallbladder conditions such as gallstones or cholecystitis inflammation of the gallbladder. Irritation of the gastrointestinal tract Spicy foods contain compounds like capsaicin, which can irritate the lining of the gastrointestinal tract, including the colon. Consumption of spicy foods may lead to symptoms such as abdominal pain, cramping, diarrhea, or bloating, particularly in individuals with sensitive digestive systems or conditions like irritable bowel syndrome IBS. Aggravation of existing conditions for individuals with conditions such as acid reflux, gastritis, or inflammatory bowel diseases, IBD like Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, spicy foods can exacerbate symptoms and trigger flare-ups. The irritation caused by spicy foods may worsen inflammation in the colon and exacerbate symptoms such as abdominal pain, diarrhea, or rectal bleeding. Increased risk of hemorrhoids, spicy foods can contribute to the development or exacerbation of hemorrhoids, which are swollen veins in the rectal area. Disruption of gut microbiota, spicy foods may disrupt the balance of gut microbiota, leading to dysbiosis. Dysbiosis, or an imbalance in gut bacteria, can contribute to various gastrointestinal issues. 
including inflammation, altered bowel habits, and increased susceptibility to infections or digestive disorders. While spicy foods can be enjoyed in moderation by many individuals without causing significant harm, those with pre-existing gastrointestinal conditions or sensitivities may need to limit their consumption to avoid discomfort or exacerbation of symptoms. It's essential to listen to your body and make dietary choices that promote digestive comfort and overall well-being. 5. Alcohol can have detrimental effects on both the colon and the gallbladder. Gallbladder issues alcohol consumption can lead to the formation of gallstones by increasing the production of cholesterol in the liver and decreasing the contraction of the gallbladder. Excessive alcohol consumption can also impair the function of the gallbladder, leading to reduced bile flow and increased risk of colorectal cancer. Colon health heavy alcohol consumption has been associated with an increased risk of colorectal cancer. Alcohol can irritate the lining of the colon and rectum, leading to inflammation and damage to the cells lining the gastrointestinal tract. Chronic inflammation in the colon can contribute to the development of colorectal polyps and cancerous tumors over time. Disruption of gut microbiota, alcohol can disrupt the balance of gut microbiota, leading to dysbiosis. Dysbiosis, or an imbalance in gut bacteria, has been linked to various gastrointestinal issues, including inflammatory bowel diseases, IBD-like Crohn's disease, and ulcerative colitis. Dysbiosis may also impair bile acid metabolism, affecting gallbladder function. Nutrient absorption Chronic alcohol consumption can interfere with the absorption of essential nutrients in the intestines, including vitamins and minerals that are important for colon health. A deficiency in these nutrients can impair the function of the colon and increase the risk of colorectal issues such as inflammation and cancer. Increased risk of obesity, alcohol is high in calories and can contribute to weight gain and obesity when consumed in excess. Obesity is a risk factor for both gallbladder disease and colorectal cancer, as it can lead to inflammation, insulin resistance, and changes in hormone levels that promote tumor growth. Overall, while moderate alcohol consumption may not pose significant risks to the colon and gallbladder, excessive or chronic alcohol consumption can have serious consequences for digestive health. Limiting alcohol intake and following a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean protein sources can help support both colon and gallbladder health and reduce the risk of digestive problems and diseases associated with alcohol consumption. Caffeine can have various effects on both the colon and the gallbladder. Gallbladder issues Caffeine stimulates the release of bile from the gallbladder, which can increase the risk of gallstone formation. When bile becomes concentrated and stagnant in the gallbladder, it is more likely to form gallstones. Additionally, caffeine consumption has been associated with an increased risk of gallbladder attacks in individuals with gallbladder disease. Colon health caffeine has been found to have both positive and negative effects on colon health. While some studies suggest that caffeine may have protective effects against colorectal cancer by promoting regular bowel movements and reducing the risk of constipation. Dehydration caffeine is a diuretic, which means it can increase urine production and lead to dehydration if consumed in excess. Dehydration can contribute to constipation and other digestive issues, as well as increase the risk of gallstone formation by making bile more concentrated. Increased acidity Caffeine can increase the acidity of the stomach, which may exacerbate symptoms of acid reflux and gastroesophageal reflux disease GERD. Chronic acid reflux has been associated with an increased risk of Barrett's esophagus, a condition that can lead to esophageal cancer. Interference with nutrient absorption, some research suggests that caffeine may interfere with the absorption of certain nutrients, including calcium and magnesium, which are important for colon health. A diet lacking in these nutrients may increase the risk of colorectal issues such as osteoporosis and colon cancer. Overall, while moderate caffeine consumption may have some health benefits, excessive intake can have negative effects on both the colon and the gallbladder. Individuals with existing gallbladder issues or gastrointestinal sensitivities may want to limit their caffeine intake or opt for decaffeinated beverages to reduce the risk of digestive discomfort and gallbladder problems. 7. High cholesterol foods can negatively impact both the colon and the gallbladder for several reasons. Gallbladder issues Consuming foods high in cholesterol can lead to an increase in cholesterol levels in the bile, which may contribute to the formation of gallstones. Gallbladder dysfunction High cholesterol foods can also impair the function of the gallbladder itself. 
When the gallbladder is unable to effectively release bile to aid in digestion, it can lead to digestive discomfort, bloating, and other symptoms of gallbladder dysfunction. Colon health While dietary cholesterol itself may not directly impact the colon, foods high in cholesterol often come from animal sources that are also high in saturated fats. Diets high in saturated fats have been associated with an increased risk of colon cancer and other colorectal issues. Additionally, high cholesterol foods are typically low in fiber, which is important for maintaining colon health and preventing constipation and other digestive issues. Systemic inflammation, high cholesterol foods can contribute to systemic inflammation throughout the body, including in the colon. Chronic inflammation in the colon has been linked to an increased risk of inflammatory bowel diseases, IBD, such as Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, as well as colorectal cancer. Obesity, consuming a diet high in cholesterol-rich foods can contribute to obesity, which is a risk factor for both gallbladder issues and colon-related diseases. Obesity is associated with an increased risk of gallstone formation and gallbladder disease, as well as an elevated risk of colorectal cancer and other colon-related issues. Overall, reducing the consumption of high-cholesterol foods and opting for a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean protein sources can help support both gallbladder and colon health. Additionally, maintaining a healthy weight through regular exercise and portion control can help reduce the risk of gallbladder and colon-related diseases associated with high cholesterol diets. 8. Fried foods can be detrimental to both the colon and the gallbladder due to several reasons. High in unhealthy fats, fried foods are typically cooked in oils that are high in unhealthy fats, particularly trans fats and saturated fats. These fats have been linked to an increased risk of gallstone formation by raising cholesterol levels in the bile. Excessive consumption of fried foods can lead to gallbladder issues such as inflammation and the development of gallstones. Low in fiber, fried foods are often low in fiber, which is essential for maintaining colon health. A diet lacking in fiber can lead to constipation and slow transit time in the colon, increasing the risk of colorectal issues such as inflammation and the development of gallstones. Potential for carcinogen formation, the high temperatures used in frying can lead to the formation of carcinogenic compounds such as acrylamide and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons pass. These compounds have been associated with an increased risk of colorectal cancer when consumed regularly over time. Disruption of gut microbiota. Fried foods may disrupt the balance of gut microbiota, leading to dysbiosis and inflammation in the colon. Dysbiosis has been linked to various gastrointestinal disorders, including inflammatory bowel diseases, IBD-like Crohn's disease, and ulcerative colitis. Increased risk of obesity. Fried foods are often calorie-dense and high in unhealthy fats, making them a contributing factor to obesity. Obesity is associated with an increased risk of gallbladder disease, including gallstone formation, as well as colorectal cancer and other colon-related issues. Overall, while fried foods may be tasty and convenient, their consumption should be limited to reduce the risk of both gallbladder and colon problems. Opting for healthier cooking methods such as baking, grilling, or steaming can help minimize these risks and promote better overall digestive health. 9. Processed foods can have detrimental effects on both the colon and the gallbladder for several reasons. High in unhealthy fats, processed foods often contain high levels of unhealthy fats, such as trans fats and saturated fats, which can contribute to gallbladder issues. These fats can raise cholesterol levels in the bile, leading to the formation of gallstones and increasing the risk of gallbladder inflammation cholecystitis. Low in fiber, many processed foods are low in dietary fiber, which is essential for maintaining colon health. A diet lacking in fiber can lead to constipation and slow transit time in the colon, increasing the risk of colorectal issues such as hemorrhoids, diverticulosis, and colorectal cancer. High in refined sugars and additives processed foods often contain high levels of refined sugars and additives, which can disrupt the balance of gut microbiota and promote inflammation in the colon. Imbalances in gut microbiota have been linked to various gastrointestinal disorders, including inflammatory bowel diseases, IBD-like Crohn's disease, and ulcerative colitis. Lack of nutrients. Processed foods are typically low in essential nutrients such as vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, which are important for overall digestive health. A diet lacking in these nutrients can impair gallbladder function and increase the risk of gallbladder issues, as well as contribute to colon inflammation and digestive issues. 
Increased risk of obesity, processed foods are often calorie dense and highly palatable, making them a contributing factor to obesity. Obesity is associated with an increased risk of gallbladder disease, including gallstone formation, as well as colorectal cancer and other colon-related issues. Carcinogenic compounds Some processed foods may contain carcinogenic compounds such as acrylamide, nitrosamines, and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons PAS, which can form during processing or cooking at high temperatures. These compounds have been associated with an increased risk of colorectal cancer when consumed regularly over time. Overall, reducing the consumption of processed foods and opting for a diet rich in whole. Unprocessed foods is important for supporting digestive health and reducing the risk of gallbladder and colon issues associated with processed food consumption. 10. Trans fats are harmful to both the colon and the gallbladder due to several reasons. Gallbladder issues trans fats raise levels of low-density lipoprotein LDL cholesterol and lower levels of high-density lipoprotein HDL cholesterol contributing to the formation of gallstones. They also increase inflammation and oxidative stress, which can lead to gallbladder inflammation cholecystitis and impair the function of the gallbladder. Colorectal cancer risk Consumption of trans fats has been linked to an increased risk of colorectal cancer. Trans fats promote inflammation and oxidative stress in the colon, which can contribute to the development of cancerous cells. Additionally, trans fats have been associated with changes in gut microbiota composition, which may further increase the risk of colorectal cancer. Disruption of gut microbiota Trans fats have been shown to alter the composition of gut microbiota, leading to dysbiosis. Dysbiosis, or an imbalance in gut bacteria, can contribute to various gastrointestinal issues, including inflammatory bowel diseases, IBD like Crohn's disease, and ulcerative colitis. Dysbiosis may also impair bile acid metabolism, affecting gallbladder function. Inflammation and oxidative stress Trans fats promote inflammation and oxidative stress throughout the body, including in the colon and gallbladder. Chronic inflammation and oxidative stress are underlying factors in the development of gallbladder disease, including gallstones and cholecystitis, as well as colorectal cancer. Impaired bile acid metabolism Trans fats may interfere with bile acid metabolism, leading to alterations in bile composition and flow. Bile acids play a crucial role in the digestion and absorption of fats, and any disruption in their metabolism can affect gallbladder function and increase the risk of gallstone formation. Overall, avoiding trans fats is essential for maintaining the health of both the colon and the gallbladder. This can be achieved by reading food labels and choosing foods that are low in trans fats, such as those made with healthier oils like olive oil or canola oil. Opting for a diet rich in whole, unprocessed foods and healthy fats can help support digestive health and reduce the risk of gallbladder and colon issues associated with trans fat consumption. Here are some action tips to support the digestive health of both the colon and the gallbladder. 1. Increase fiber intake. Incorporate plenty of fiber-rich foods into your diet, such as fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, and nuts. Fiber helps promote regular bowel movements, prevents constipation, and supports overall colon health. To stay hydrated, drink an adequate amount of water throughout the day to keep your digestive system functioning smoothly. Proper hydration can help prevent constipation and support bile production in the gallbladder. 3. Limit saturated fats. Reduce your intake of foods high in saturated fats, such as processed meats, high-fat dairy products, and fried foods. High-fat diets can increase cholesterol levels in the bile, leading to gallstone formation and gallbladder issues. For choose lean proteins, opt for lean protein sources such as poultry, fish, tofu, legumes, and plant-based proteins. Lean proteins are easier to digest and are less likely to trigger gallbladder symptoms or exacerbate colon issues. 5. Minimize processed foods Cut back on processed and packaged foods that are high in salt, sugar, and additives. 6. Practice portion control Be mindful of portion sizes, especially when consuming high-calorie or high-fat foods. Overeating can put strain on the digestive system and increase the risk of gallbladder discomfort and colon issues. 7. Eat regular meals. Stick to a regular eating schedule and avoid skipping meals. Consistent mealtimes help regulate bile production and promote healthy digestion in both the colon and the gallbladder. 8. Incorporate probiotics. Consume probiotic-rich foods like yogurt, kefir, sauerkraut, and 
kimchi to support a healthy balance of gut bacteria. Probiotics can help improve digestion, reduce inflammation, and support overall digestive health. 9. Manage stress practice stress-reducing techniques such as deep breathing, meditation, yoga, or regular exercise. Chronic stress can impact digestive function and exacerbate symptoms in both the colon and the gallbladder. Be mindful of any symptoms or discomfort and make adjustments to your diet and lifestyle accordingly. By incorporating these action tips into your daily routine, you can help support the digestive health of both your colon and in gallbladder promoting overall wellness and vitality. Please consider giving us a thumbs up, sharing this video with your friends and family, and subscribing to our channel for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth, and happiness with the key to vitality in your hands.